Hey everyone, welcome to tip of the day. This is Viren here and in this video we will see how to configure your Yahoo email uh, onto your Outlook. Now I have Outlook 2016 uh, but even before you do that, uh, let me just tell you something. Uh, by default, Yahoo doesn't allow you to you know, access their email from other applications like Outlook. And that is why when the first time you try this, uh, you know, you will get an email something like this saying that your sign in was prevented. So this is a security setting change. But you should see something like this. It says sign in prevented. And this was done because by default, the settings are, uh, you know, you should be accessing Yahoo emails only on their official uh, applications like Yahoo email, etc. Uh, to change this setting so that you can use your email on other applications like Outlook, you should actually be logging into your email, go to account info, then go to account security and go down all the way and there's an uh, option which says allow apps that use less secure sign-in. Now that doesn't mean that Outlook is less secure but that's how uh, Yahoo understands that any other application which is not their official application is less secure. Anyways, I have enabled this option so that now I can go ahead and uh, uh, configure my Yahoo email on, onto Outlook. So I'm going to open Outlook 2016. Now, as you can see, it has opened straight away directly, but you know, there's nothing configured. I mean, if I go to my inbox, there's nothing here. And the reason you see this interface is because I had actually earlier configured Yahoo email and then I took it out uh, that's why and if you go to file and if you go to account settings and go to account settings here there you go it says nothing here there's nothing here in the email although if you go to Outlook data files I see a Outlook data file here now what exactly is Outlook data file uh, in short it is something like when you configure your Yahoo email uh, it will create a path onto your e, onto your uh, drives on your system by default it's a c c drive what i've done is i was trying to delete that particular path and i used to get an option saying that you know you can't remove this because it's a default path and you have to create another you see this option and if i try to delete this now it says this is the default data data file that cannot be removed so this is what i was getting so what i did was i created a new one by simply going to add and then I deleted the old one. It doesn't make a difference. So basically this is just a local file uh, which points to your emails. So, but there's no email configured here. So I'm gonna, we'll start configuring an email. So I'm gonna go to new. And, and if, if you are configuring for the first time, you should directly be seeing this page, what you're seeing now, instead of, you know, the email stuff in the background, you should be seeing this screen, only this. So I will go and get my ID now. You have advanced options. Uh, I can connect directly and uh, we will be using, I forgot to tell you, there are two ways in which you can set up your email. One is via IMAP settings and the other one is POP. Uh, I will discuss in a little more detail as to why IMAP and why, why not POP in my other video. So stay, stay tuned for that. But uh, let's just do one thing. Let me go to, you know, set up my account manually just so you see what are, what are the settings. Okay, so there you go. So these are the options that I get. Like I said, pop and IMAP. I'm gonna be using IMAP settings. And if I had actually selected automatically instead of manually, I would have landed on this page directly. Now, in this page, uh, you know, apps have really gotten smart. By default, it has taken the incoming port number which is 993 which is absolutely correct and this should be the incoming yahoo email this should be your smtp that is outgoing email this should be the port for outgoing emails uh, everything is selected by default so pretty nice and uh, require login using secure you can check this but i'm gonna not not do that i will just hit connect now say is enter your username and password uh, i already have my email id here I'm Give my email, yeah, that is yeah, Yahoo password, and let's see what happens. Okay, 
Okay. Still asking for the password. All right. So I think it's doing something in the background. If you see here, uh, it says we are getting things ready for you. Account setup is complete. I will say OK. What's this? Where is it going to? All right. So there you go. Now, in email, if you see here earlier when I said, you know, there was no account showing up here. Now there's an account which shows up and shows the settings. If I go to Outlook data files, do you see that? Now, once again, automatically, this path has come up. So, but the default is showing with a check mark here. So I can, I can make this as default by selecting this and clicking on set as default and then removing this. Uh, you know, simply, I, I cannot remove it simply by having another data file. So let's not worry about this. This is all set up. I will say close. And now let's see what happens. Now, instead of the data file, I'm going to my normal, uh, this is my Yahoo email. And if you see here, it has started synchronizing in the bottom. If you see here, uh, it has started, it will start showing my email. On the there you go. The mails are now, even though you see the mails here, let me just adjust this window a little bit here. Now, even though you see these emails here, these emails are still on the Yahoo server. They are not locally on my machine. Although I can download these uh, emails onto my local machine by creating a data file. That's what I was talking about. So this is a data file where I can download these emails locally on my machine. And now that's where the difference between IMAP and POP comes in. So, like I said, we will talk about this, you know, in the in the later in a, in a later video as to why we should always go for IMAP and not for POP settings. So there you go. I can uh, go ahead and um, you know, I can go to file and add another account. I'll go to account settings, go to account settings. There you go. I can say new. I can say new and here I can give my Gmail. So I can add another account here. So I hope this was pretty simple. I think the settings were uh, taken automatically by the uh, application. Uh, well, if you still have any questions, uh, you know, feel free to ping on this on this video. Uh, you know, I will see the comments and I'll definitely try to help you as much as I can. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you for your time. Bye.